I'm Megan Kingsley-Gale of De-Stress Vets LLC and I run the Hospital Practice Handbook Project. At the Hospital Handbook Project, we are creating community space for hospital practice acupuncturists to discuss standards, guidelines, best practices, and share wisdom. I believe this community will thrive from their professional connection. Instead of existing in silos, this project endeavors to create connections, community, and share wisdom. So how did I get started in all of this? Well, when I was in grad school, there was the troop surge in the Iraq war, and my brother was one of those soldiers. So as I sat in class learning about traditional Chinese medicine, I was thinking about how what I was learning could help my family and friends who were deployed. And I learned that East Asian medicine is a non-drug, non-surgery option for pain management, and it decreases stress and improves sleep, which thereby increases resiliency. As it turns out, if you can improve sleep quality, decrease stress, and decrease pain, you can decrease the, po the probability of post-traumatic stress from becoming PTSD. East Asian medicine complements conventional medical care. So how do we get East Asian medicine into the hospital system? How do we get East Asian medicine to, East, to those who need it? By working in the conventional medical system, by having acupuncturists work in hospitals, medical centers, VAs, military treatment facilities. There have been barriers to working in medical facilities, the first of which is that we're new. We're just new to the system. So oftentimes, each time an acupuncturist is hired, they are the very first to that system or one of the first to that system or that facility. So the problem of reinventing the wheel is very common. Instead of existing in silos, this project endeavors to create connections, community, and share wisdom. By creating a set of published resources and connecting hospital practitioners to resources already published, the Hospital Handbook Project provides a ladder over that barrier and makes landing on the other side with your hospital sponsor a little softer. You still need to get up and get moving, and I believe your clinic and program will be better poised for success because you have learned from the wisdom of, other, of others. This is what the Hospital Practice Handbook Living Resource is aimed to do. The mission is to create a resource of basic standards, guidelines for hospital practice, while creating community of hospital practice acupuncturists to discuss standards, share best practices, and share wisdom. I wish these resources had been available to me when I started hospital practice. And I hope in getting these manuscripts published and getting these collaborative projects up and going, such as the data project and the webinar series, that this resource will be available to all hospital practice acupuncturists and their sponsors. So check out our crowdfunding campaign page and contribute to the Hospital Handbook projects for 2017 to get these projects up and going and off the ground this year. Thank you.